Hey everyone! Welcome to my channel, Thomason's Once Upon a Nursery. I am Tamara, and today I'm here to do another demonstration with my products from BB Craft. So I want to thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, I do have these items that I'm reviewing for BB Craft. If you would like to be part of their YouTube program, uh, all you have to do is go to their website and fill out the appropriate things to fill out. Uh, all you need to have is a YouTube channel with at least 100 subscribers. Uh, they require you to do a box opening video and then two demonstration videos. And so that's what I am doing. And just to review what I had gotten from BB Craft before. I have these alligator clips. They're one inch clips. And then I, I also got some one and a half inch clips. And then the two inch clips. Well, okay, so um, today I am going to show you how to make, and it'll be my first time making this ribbon, this, uh, whatever, <laughs> uh, making this, so uh, we will learn together. And I also have my uh, crocheted elastic from BB Craft. And uh, before we get started with the ribbon, I have a short video showing you um, how I made these. So let's get to that and then I'll show you these.
guys, I hope you enjoyed that short little video there. Just want to show you up close here. This is where I've sewed them. And I just cut them off and sewed them. I did a kind of a double with my smallest straight setting. And then here's what I made. I got the pink, the blue, the yellow, and the white. I did not use the ivory, the green, or the purple. But I just wanted to show you how cool these are, how well they turned out, how nice they are. I've already put them on a couple of babies. I actually had to take them off to show them. And, uh, you know, I like to leave mine plain. And then I, I pin or clip bows to them. <clears throat> rather than having the permanence of something stuck to it. So... Now, I would like to show you how to make some bows, and I also have some that I've made that I would like to show you, but first, let's get started with these bows. I'm going to get rid of some of this excess stuff that we don't need, and I would like to say thank you to BB Craft for allowing me to do this review. I hope you like it. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for everything. Okay, so what I would like to do today is make a sort of a, um, a flower looking type. It was something that I had seen. Um, let's choose some colors from these lovely BB Craft. We have light blue, we have linen, we have white, we have turquoise. We have lilac, gold, which is a yellow color, sky blue, and pink. So I think that for this bow, since so many of us use pink in our nurseries and so many of us use white and blue in our nurseries, I think those would be great colors. And along with those great colors, I think that yellow would probably also look nice and purple. How many more am I going to go? Well, I think I'm just going to add some turquoise to the mix. How about that? Let's see what we can do with these. Alright, and just to get started guys, I'm going to start by taking the tape off of these brand new rolls. And hopefully I can put it, just reuse it. And I'm going to be using the one and a half inch today. Um, so I think I'm going to, let me see. So I'm, I'm learning. So I do have this slide gauge they use for slowing, sewing, sorry, this is used for, for sewing and I'm going to be using the inches because <clears throat> that's the American way. <laughs> so I'm thinking... So uh, I'm going to cut each piece about six inches And next I'll cut the blue.
I'm just going to be cutting each ribbon of each color of chosen. Okay, so I have each piece. I have my lilac, my pink, my blue, yellow, white, and turquoise. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a needle and thread. I'm just using white thread because it's the easiest. And I'm just going to randomly start picking these up. I'm going to pick up the blue one first because you know, blue is my favorite color. I'm going to make sure this end is completely sealed first. So what I'm going to do is with the ribbon, with the back side facing up, I'm just going to insert my needle into the center as close to the edge as I can. Just a little bit of a a lip there if you can see where my needle is so just a little space and I'm gonna go through the top piece the same way and then next I will choose another ribbon and I think I will choose the purple I'm just going to stick these together and go through top and bottom. And then next, I think I will choose white. And I do have my glue gun heating up because I will be using my glue gun. So if yours isn't warm, go ahead and go get that started while we do this. Um... I think I want turquoise next. So I'm just going to stick those together. Try and get this a little bit closer to you guys. Just go through top and bottom. And next I'll pick pink. that together and yes you got it go through top and bottom and yellow last or gold however we'd like to look at it go through the center top and bottom all right and now you have something that looks like this yes all right so now that we have all these together we're just going to push them together sort of put them in place. And I did six colors, but you know, you can do whatever colors, however many colors you want to do. I'm going to sort of arrange these how I have them. 
with blue and then the white the turquoise and then the pink and then the yellow just going to arrange them that way and pull it like this so yeah that's gonna make a pretty little like uh, flower type looking shape there we will get the spacing before we start to sew the rest Now, once you're happy with your general shape or where you want your ribbon, you can go ahead and start adding more stitches. And I like to take the little corners and sort of pull them back together. Let's just stick it in the corner there. back through pull that and I'm just going to keep on adding stitches until I'm happy and everything is in its place. Okay, now I'm happy with what I have. And I've just kept on stitching and stitching and stitching around. We're going to put some glue on there to make sure everything stays in place. But that is what I have ended up with. Woo! Okay, now from there, I'm going to just go ahead and knot this and as you guys know I'm not like a professional or anything I don't make these like for a living this is just for fun and for demonstration for my friends at BB Craft to show their products and to show what, you know, what all you could do with them. So here is my flower, if you will. Now I'm going to take some, I think I'm going to use this linen color. Something tells me that I won't be using it a whole, whole lot. I'm going to take one of these and I'm just going to measure some ribbon off to cover this with. So I want about right there. I want it to cover the pretty much the entire ribbon and the part that you push down. So I'm going to seal this before I put the tape on. If you seal your ends like this before you put the tape on, you won't have to worry about it snagging off and running away from you. Now I can put tape on there and it's completely safe. All right, so 
I'm just going to take I might fold this in half yeah I'm thinking I'm going to fold this in half so I'm just going to take my glue gun and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here on the end and then I'm going to stick this there <clears throat> just sealing the end of this I may need to cut it <clears throat> I'm just going to put some glue right inside that little lip there. Fold this down. That's a little bit too long, but it's okay. Won't hurt a thing. I'm going to go ahead and put some glue underneath there to make sure everything's nice and tight and flat and flush. Not like a toilet flush. <laughs> Use my little tool here. Ooh, lots with the glue. Oh, look, magic glue. Na 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 I'm just going to use another clip. <laughs> so I'm going to finish putting this down on here like this. I'm just going to take this side and then I'm going to do the middle bit and push it down. Ooh, make sure it's flat, very flat. Oh yes, it is very flat. So I'll put some glue on the inside now. I'll go ahead and bring that on down. And just go ahead and let that close and just smash everything together. And I'm just going to make sure that everything is secure. And now I'm going to take with the messiest side on the back. I'm gonna take and I'm just gonna glue this right down, right on top, right here. I'm gonna make sure that it's completely covered because I don't want this showing. So I'm just going to smash that on there. Hopefully it's in the middle, <laughs> hopefully. Now I'm going to take, I have this uh, little, it's like a plastic, it's like a donut. I did not get this from BB Craft, but I thought this would be uh, a cute little decoration to add on. So this did not come from BB Craft, but I'm going to use it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to put it right there, right in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and put the glue right on to the donut. So if it does melt it, it will help it to stick on. What do you think, guys? 
If you followed along with me on this, I hope yours turned out as nice as mine did. And now I just want to show you, along with these headbands that I made, and as you can see, this ribbon will go with any one of these now, any color. It can go just even with the plain white, you know, put that right there. So I have some other bows that I have made recently that I wanted to share with you. Um, these were made with BB craft items. So this is the BB craft ribbon. As you can see, it's the, the gold, the blue sky blue. The pink and the lilac. Just a little bow that I made. I haven't stuck it onto anything, but I am going to do that um, now, as a matter of fact. So I'm just going to stick it right to it. So I'm going to glue this down because this bow is not tight. So I'm going to make sure the bow is tight first. Make sure all this is flat and secure. There we go. I do want that to open up just a little bit, so I am going to put some glue right here. Just to keep that open a little bit. And same thing with here. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the edge. And then I'm just going to cover this with some hot glue. And I'm just going to stick it right on the back. Just stick it to it. You can do it. There we go. And now, just like that, I have created a hairband. And I can stick it on anything I want. So the next one I made with the BB Craft products is this one. I use the light blue, the sky blue, and the pink. So now I'm just going to secure this one with a clip. I think I'm going to use a small clip on this one. All right, I'm just going to put some glue on the back of the alligator clip. And secure it right down on there. Ow, hot glue burns. Okay, so there's my next ribbon that I have made. And that is with a small clip. This pink and white. The white ribbon that you see in the middle and in the background, I did not get from BB Craft. The pink ribbon came from BB Craft. Okay. Just want to make sure. They probably do have something similar, but I did not get the white from BB Craft. Just the pink. Not even this in the middle came just the pink. So I'm going to use a small clip. And since this has already been secured, I'm just going to make sure that it's secured with some glue. Go ahead and stick some glue on there. And then stick my clip down. And there's another ribbon.
And the last ribbon I have is this one, the larger, the wider blue ribbon in the back, these back pieces back here. This is the blue ribbon, the sky blue from BB Craft. This one thinner one in the middle did not come from BB Craft, but these did. Okay, and that's just another little bow I made. So I'm going to use another medium clip and I'm just going to again secure everything with some glue. Okay, I'm just going to put some glue along here. And then secure this down just like that. And there we go. There is another ribbon with some glue hanging off of it. All right. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this how-to. I hope you followed along with me. And if you didn't, then maybe you can come back later and replay this. But uh, whatever you decide to do, I hope you do hit the like and subscribe. I do have an exclusive code to use at the uh, checkout for BB Craft. You'll want to enter Thomason5 for $5 off a $40 purchase. That's $5 off of a $40 purchase US dollars. If you would like to become part of their YouTube program, just go to bbcraft.com and uh, fill out the information and get signed up and get your own set of uh, products to review. But I hope you enjoyed this review and I wanted to once again say thank you so much to BB Craft for allowing me to review these products. And I hope to return and re review some more very, very soon. So um, yeah, guys, thank you so much. Uh, remember, this channel doesn't work without you, because without you, I am nothing. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye for now.